our box office predictions. We do this every week, presented by our friends at AMC Theaters, is where we predict what happens and what the rankings are for this weekend's box office. So, uh, Mark, why don't you start us off here? All right. You want to get the correct answer out of the gate, <laughs> don't you, Dennis? Uh, coming in at number five this week, I'm going to have Hotel Transylvania 2. At number four, I'm going to have The Martian. And then my top three are going to be three new ones in theaters this weekend. At number three, I'm going to have Crimson Peak. At number two, I'm going to have Bridge of Spies. And, of course, at number one, I'm going to have Woodlawn, the faith-based movie that's, of course, going to make $100 million because every other one does as well. Not really. I have Goosebumps at number one. I think Goosebumps is going to take enough of that horror movie family. We want to see something a little mm -hmm. scary dollar away from Crimson Peak. To bump Crimson Peak down to number three and Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg, there's such a huge demographic for a movie like Bridge of Spies. I think it comes in at a solid number two. Christian, we have a similar list, um, except mine's right. Uh, I am going <laughs> to also hurts. at number five have Hotel Transylvania, and at number four I actually have Bridge of Spies. Mm -hmm. Then three I have Crimson Peak, <laughs> two I have The Martian, and then one at Goosebumps. And I think that they're all going to be very close in in dollars. I think that it's going to be it's there's not going to be like a clear cut. Oh, this one made twenty thirty million dollars more. It's they're going to be within like five, six, two, three million dollars of each other. Clark? For me, um, I have Hotel Transylvania at number five as well. I, and this pains me to do because I am such a fan of Crimson Peak and I am such a fan of Guillermo. However, I am going to put it at four. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it at four because it's R-rated. Um, you know, there's been a lot of weird buzz about is it a horror movie? Is it a romance? I think it's the messaging somewhere got confusing. And I'm worried that bad word of mouth, or not bad word of mouth, but disappointed yeah. word of mouth is going to ding it a little bit. So um, if it were up to me, Crimson Peak would be number one, but that's a different story. So number three, I have The Martian. Number two, I have Bridge of Spies. And number one, I have Goosebumps. Okay. I got a little bit different than you guys. I have number five, Hotel Transylvania. Number four, I also have Crimson Peak. And that's a movie I feel like even if, because right now it's kind of got mixed reviews, even if it was like super positive, I don't know how well it could would do. I don't know how well it appeals to the mainstream audience. Honestly, I don't know why they didn't release Crimson Peak in February. Mm -hmm. I think that it should have been this cold, atmospheric, you know, kind of weird, dark love story. I think that that's probably, I, I don't know. Oh, they were trying to get the Halloween crowd. I, of course yeah. they were, and I totally get that, and yeah. that makes perfect sense, but I think when you actually take into consideration what the movie yeah. is, a different release might have been smarter. Mm -hmm. But it's a, I think it's a great movie, and I'm glad it's I, I, I'm going to I'm going to look at it. I'm going to watch it today. Um, um, three, Bridge of Spies. Two, The Martian. I think it's going to hold over well. I mean, it's just got po such positive word of mouth, and, and it didn't fall off that much last week. And then number one, Goosebumps, which I haven't seen yet, but I, I, I'm not sure. Like you, I think you saw it. You liked it. I've seen the movie. Yeah, I, I dug it okay, and I think it's a really good movie for the demographic it's aimed at for kids, and it's just a matter of if they are excited to see Goosebumps, if enough people want to go see Goosebumps and enough people grew up with that in their consciousness to want to go see the film adaptation of it, because from seeing the movie, they throw all the Goosebumps novels at you at the same time. There's a lot of cool creatures to look at, so I think it'll barely be number one. Okay. Who, who won last week? Last week, Do you remember? The Martian. Martian. No, 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 right no, 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 no. Yeah. I, I'm talking. You. you Quiet. Oh, who won? Uh, me, you, and Roca. Yeah, I don't. It definitely wasn't Roca because yeah. he was he was throwing stuff. We need uh, to tally. We need yeah, to tally this we up. Should. We, should, we should. We should talk on Monday. Who won? Yes. Well, they I usually do. If if somebody got five out of five. Well, John, when he gets the, it right, yeah, he <laughs> he's all over it. Yeah. He's all over it. If if I if I did a Friday and did a Monday and I won, God forbid that ever happened, I would totally point out that I had actually won the box office. Right. I think last week so many people were shocked at just how poorly Pan did. Yeah, I don't remember where we put it because you and I had like the same exact. I think we had on two or three. Yeah. And I think it was two. I think we had Martian coming in and we had Pan at number two. We okay. thought, okay, the Pan name is right. going to bring right. people in no matter about the reviews. Right. Well, That's Shoko was right on. He said it was going to make about 15 million. That's what it made. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, he. I don't even think he knew what movies were coming Yeah, out. that's the movie we didn't talk about. I mean, how big? <laughs> it's not even going to be on the top five of this weekend. And it just opened last week. And the budget was $150 million. That's crazy. I just yeah. read an article that um, because of part of and partially because Pan did so poorly, now um, Alexander Skarsgård's uh, Tarzan movie, they're starting to get a little bit nervous about that. 
Is Joe Wright directing that? I, no, right. Joe Wright's not directing it, but I think it's the idea of this like old-fashioned property. It's the idea that Skarsgård isn't quite an um, a leading man. Oh, that's yet. see, that's and I don't, I don't uh, doubt at all that that that's that's so silly studio thinking because that's that's the way like when when something when a property does really well, everybody yes. tries to copy it, and then if it does really bad, everyone gets scared. I still say, and I and Joe Wright is still an okay director, but he is the reason that movie was terrible. He, the Joe Wright decisions in that movie were terrible. The, the singing Teen it. Spirit, saying like, <laughs> I think there's absolutely you could do Tarzan, and Skarsgård absolutely has presence and could pull it off. But you're also a dude who saw Pan and didn't like it yeah. because of that. I'm somebody who didn't see Pan because I had no desire to see it. And so I think that the studio is like, well, we just want to make sure that people still are aware of Tarzan because it's not just Pan. It's also like, look at something like The Man from Uncle, which is a TV show that nobody had heard of in 40 years, or something like The Lone Ranger, which is something like, like it wasn't a good movie to begin with, but it also, it was a TV show that was so long ago, it just wasn't in the consciousness, like something like Goosebumps might be. Right. So Tarzan hasn't been around, he hasn't been swinging on vines yeah. and a long time. It's been a long time yeah, since Johnny Weissmuller was running around. But still, around. I still go. I still go back and forth. That if you put a good script and a good director about anything, depending on how you cut the trailer and depending on how you execute, how you write, and the performance you get, you can make anything watchable if you get the word of mouth behind it. So it's it is a matter of marketability, and you're going to have to put this money into it, obviously, because it's an epic movie. But you can absolutely do Tarzan because it's it's not it's not because Man from Uncle and Tarzan are totally different. Everyone knows who Tarzan is now, and you were you were actually one. You were, there were a lot of people that really were interested in Pan. And, and as yeah, far as, I mean, I, because it's Peter Pan and they, they and the idea of a prequel to how Peter Pan did that wasn't that had never really been done in the movies anyway. And I thought it was pretty interesting. But I do think that the execution of it was done terribly. All right. What's next? None of you guys included Woodlawn in your top five. Even I, with the yeah. success of you joked around about I it. I joked around, but it's also because and I would have thrown it in there ahead of Hotel T, but because it's only opening in fifteen hundred theaters, I think it'll do around right. like but seven or eight. But with the success of War Room, like but, that came out of left Christian, field. None of us even weren't you and I. Didn't you and I do a box office prediction for another faith faith based film, and and it turned out that weekend that it like, no, it correct. didn't even make it in yeah, there. Like we it, we both we thought both it was going to go in there yeah. because of exactly what right. you're talking. Yeah, out of, and and it just kind of crashed and burned. It's interesting, and you know, it's interesting because you could have something like this. I wouldn't be surprised if yeah. next no. week this thing hits like two or even one, because especially with Sean Astin and and you know the, the you got Rudy, Rudy back, and you yeah. got the evil coach from Varsity Blues in there. right. So I, I don't know. I mean, it's I wouldn't be surprised, but I I, I don't know. I don't know how it was marketed. Also, the mm -hmm. other thing is too that there are times that we that it can be marketed very heavily in in the Christian community to where we maybe won't see the way that they're mm -hmm. they're marketed through the churches and stuff too. Um, and then maybe this one was or wasn't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But it, to Ashley's point though, I could see it doing it because. It's a sports movie too, so you can kind of sucker in the sports fans too, as well as the faith-based community, and and get them to see it. It's more open than something like, I mean, that War Room. I had no clue right. what that right. movie. Right. At least this one, I'm like, okay, it's football. But the last mm -hmm. one that that we both did the prediction for had, um, it was ba wasn't it based on a book? Wasn't it like about the heaven is or heaven is, heaven is oh, for real? Right. Is that, oh, well, yeah. well, you know, it also had Hayden Christensen, right? Is that the one? That's yeah, the that, that that's not the one that. No, I know that the is one the one we're talking about, though, yeah. wasn't it? Wasn't it Hayden Christensen? One? Yeah, I think yeah, so. That's the one we were talking about, and that's might be something as well too. I mean, you know, he's not the best actor. 